welcome back to my youtube channel so it's been almost a year since we were quarantined uh, by the turkish government and i made a video while i was in quarantine in tokat in turkey and that's one of my most viewed videos on my channel and it's been almost a year and while i was in tokat i made a video with my phone because i didn't have my laptop with me and uh, yeah, I explained everything but I thought it's now one year later and I still have a lot of photos and videos from the time we were there and I thought I just explain everything because I'm not really sure if people are still quarantined uh, by the Turkish government and then I mean not at your own home but in a, a government building and I thought in this video I just share the whole story for maybe if you are guaranteed by the Turkish government you know what to expect or if you are just curious um, so yes that's what I'm going to do in this video and first of all if you are new here on my channel I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris Turkey and I make a lot of beauty related videos lifestyle vlogs if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started with the video so I will just start with the beginning and I have my phone with me so I can look back on some uh, photos that I took and some videos so like I said I filmed with my phone everything okay so last year in in the beginning of March we went to the Netherlands the virus started to come over to Europe I remember that we were like mm, are we going or not but it was not that bad at the time in China obviously it was very big and in the Netherlands and in Europe it started to come that time in Turkey there were no cases um, so we thought yeah we just go because um, if you don't know uh, I am Dutch so I have a Dutch passport so I can travel wherever I want basically in Europe but my husband is Turkish and for Turkish people it's very hard to get in in Europe you need to apply for a visa and uh, you need to get a passport and it was just a lot of money and the reason why we went to the Netherlands was because uh, my husband didn't go for a very long time and my father he turned 70 years old and we supposed to go to Disneyland Paris to Paris itself and yeah, just visit my family in general so obviously we were so excited to do all of that and like i said my husband he hadn't seen my family in a very long time so um yes we were very excited for that trip so that's why we went so when we went to the netherlands i think about a week later turkey closed the borders um because in one week it's just escalated very quickly in the netherlands as well they closed all of the restaurants at all of these shops and we were just stuck there and like i said my husband was on a visa in the netherlands so also we needed to return uh, back to turkey because otherwise his visa would expire and i had no idea if that was the case what we had to do so we sent a lot of emails to the turkish government to the embassy uh, in the netherlands and about a month later um yeah we were like a month i guess in the netherlands we got a email um, if we would like to go back to Turkey with a government plane because obviously Turkey closed the border so the only possible way to go back to Turkey was with a government plane or at least a plane sent by the government it was Turkish Airlines but um, so we thought okay let's do that but uh, we had to sign something that we would agree to quarantine for 14 days uh, by the Turkish government. So we needed to sign a paper that we would uh, go there and stay there for 14 days. And obviously I was a little bit nervous about that because I didn't know what to expect. Um, I believe he was one of the first people um, that go through that progress. So I hadn't had any idea, um, like I said, where we would go or what to expect and um, yes we just didn't know after a few days i believe we got a email that we would go the next day and we were like oh my god um, we had to say goodbye very quickly to all of my family members pack all of our things and um, yes also we didn't have any idea where we would go they didn't tell us anything so when we went in the morning very early to uh, schiphol to amsterdam airport um, they said we would go to Istanbul so we were like okay that's quite far from Marmaris but all right no problem at all um, Istanbul is about 10 hours with the car about an hour away with the plane from Marmaris 
Um, so yeah, we had no idea, but we thought, okay, it will be all right. The whole plane was full and most of them went for a wedding to the Netherlands. Some were students um, who studied something in the Netherlands and had to go back to Turkey. And we were the Ramadan plane. They called us, I believe, the Ramadan plane because um, the Turkish government said that they wanted to bring the Turkish people back for the Ramadan or like the sugar party and that's a really big holiday here in Turkey and it was so strange to walk on the airport the airport was very empty only a few flights I believe so it was so strange and there were also a few planes from China I believe and they were like all in white suits and it was so surreal like um, in a movie so when we boarded the plane all of the people who worked there were also in white suits like all over it was so strange and also a little bit scary and we got a few things we got some water and a few crackers but that's it normal you get like a whole meal with Turkish Airlines but I think because of the vibe they were like super careful so we were in the plane and we were almost in Istanbul and all of a sudden the pilot said that we wouldn't go to Istanbul but to Samsun and Samsun is a lot further to the east of Turkey and everyone was like oh my god what's going to happen it was about one hour away from Istanbul and my mom she was tracking the plane and she was so scared she was like what's happening uh, but yes we went to Samsun when we landed in Samsun we stayed like about an hour in the plane or even more and they cleaned all of our bags it was so strange to see and they disinfected everything after there went people in the plane to check our temperature um, not to test but just to check our temperature I believe and um, yes we sat there for a very long time and we were so hungry I was also a bit stupid to not bring food with me um, but yes it was such a long day I think it was more than an hour I don't know but we sat in the plane for a very very long time and after that we went out the plane and there were a lot of photographers and like from the television so we were in the news and I will insert also that photo right now but um, yes all of our bags were all over the uh, airport so just in the open air if you know what I mean and it was so chaotic people were running everywhere and there were like buses ready so like I said it was very chaotic people were walking everywhere and um, yes when we went into the bus we went in the last bus I believe there were a lot of police officers and from the army to check if we wouldn't run away it was like a little bit scary I don't know it was just like in a movie it was so strange and after we went with the buses to Tokat and it was a super long drive it was so long and we were also super hungry it was already evening so we traveled from six o'clock in the morning and we arrived in Turkey in the evening so when we arrived in Tokat they brought us to a university building and I didn't know what to expect at that point I was a bit nervous because I thought oh my god can I stay in one room with my husband or, or do they split us up like women and men like I don't know I just had no idea so um, like I said we waited in the bus again for a very long time because one bus at the time uh, they brought in so yeah we stayed again for quite a while in the bus and then we went inside and uh, they gave us our room so um, the room was quite all right so we had so we had a bathroom we had like a little hallway and there were some tables uh, for the students and then we had a bedroom and thank god they brought us our evening meal I was so hungry so we had that and we went straight to bed and um, yeah we couldn't see the outside because it was dark already so um, yes that was the first travel day so we thought we stayed there for 14 days and you couldn't leave your room so you had to stay in your room they checked your temperature at twice a day so they came to your room like in a suit and they checked your temperature um, you got three meals a day you had breakfast lunch and dinner and if you needed something else uh, they could also bring that to you so that was uh, quite nice the only thing of course we couldn't wash our clothes I just washed it in the shower I'm not gonna lie it was really one of the hardest things that I had to do in my life because you just have to stay in one little room 
all day long and um, if I feel not really good I just want to go for a walk my anxiety was through the roof like I don't know it was just really really hard for me and that has nothing to do with the, how they treated us or anything not at all but it was just that you had to stay in a little room for that long sometimes there was also come a ambulance and that was also quite scary um, yes it was just like I don't know how to explain it it was just a really strange feeling and especially because they check your temperature twice a day it's just really surreal everything but the hardest part for me was when I had like a real mental breakdown that was uh, when they came to us on the 13th day I believe and we had to do the like real corona test so the one that they stuck in your nose and the one that goes like in your mouth if you know what I mean so um, they did that but they told us that we had to stay a few days longer because of the test so I cried so much because I was looking forward to that day that we had to go but in the end we stayed 17 days so yes that was just a very long time so after those really really long 17 days um, we had to go home so what they did there were all buses that would go to like bigger cities in the area to Denisley, Didim and one more I don't know exactly but like this area where I live in so that was a 24 hour uh, drive because of all of these stops and um, yes it took a very long time and we were the last people in the bus because we went we were the only ones who had to go to Mugla when we came to Mugla one of my husband's cousins uh, picked us up and of course it was still a little drive to Marmaris and when we were home we had breakfast and we went to sleep for a very long time we were exhausted it was just a very intense experience I I would say and like I said the people there they treated us really well and I'm very thankful of course obviously for the government that they brought us back to Turkey um, but yes it was just quite hard so yes this was my whole um, quarantine experience I don't know if they still do it I saw some people coming back from like England and a few other countries and they just have to home quarantine so just at their own home, which I think is really great, uh, a lot better in my opinion. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little story time. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!